You guys ready? Are you guys ready? For some team building live. Ready for some team building live. I'm ready. So let's start this up. We're gonna be taking a look at Rune Grigus, Rune Regus, and we're gonna be building this team from scratch, right? So that means uh, these are all teams submitted by you guys on my Patreon. And if you guys wanna uh, submit teams, the uh, exclamation point submit is how you submit more teams. We're gonna try and do this once a week. And I think the really cool thing about this team is the weakness policy uh, on this Pokemon it has so many weaknesses. Uh, it has dark weakness, ghost weakness, uh, grass weakness, water weakness, ice weakness, and it actually is bulky enough to be able to effectively pull it off. So we're using weakness policy, but we're also going to be using an ability called Wandering Spirit. It says exchanges abilities when hit with a contact move. Do you see how it says contact move? Now, a lot of people would be led to believe that that means a physical contact move. That is not the case. There's a lot of moves that are actually not physical that still make contact. And the one that we're going to be taking a look at is... What is this Pokemon's name? It's the bunny with huge power. Diggersby, though. Diggersby, though. And, uh... There we go. Hi, good morning. That's a, kind of a hectic morning, so I'll be in and out throughout the stream. Can't wait to watch this. Thank you for doing this. This is also going to be uploaded to YouTube. So, uh, yeah, we got Diggersby. And you may be wondering, what does Diggersby have? Like, how are you going to... How are you going to proc a weakness policy and transfer over the huge power? Well, I'll tell you, we're going to be using a little move called Grass Knot. Grass Knot is actually a special attack that makes contact. It's so ridiculous. So we're using Grass Knot to proc the uh, weakness policy. We're going to be using a minus special attack nature with zero IVs in special attack. And we're going to get to all these move sets. We're going to do this one at a time. We're going to take it nice and slow. But this is the main combo. Uh, we're also going to be trying to pair the rest of the team with Pokemon that can let uh, this Pokemon perform to its fullest potential. I think Tokus is good to keep for now, but I am going to be adding... Um, I kind of want to look at Masharna. I think Masharna actually has like a decent uh, decent chance here, because now it has its hidden ability. What the, what the fuck? That combo is nutty. Yo, it's lit. That's gang. How are y'all doing today? You're doing absolutely fine. We're going to take a look at Telepathy. This is going to be our main trick room setter if we want one. We're going to be taking a look at Oranguru here. Take a look at Oranguru here. And for the last mod, there's a few Pokemon we could use in this situation. I kind of want a secondary weakness policy procker. Let me actually think about this. Because I could also, like, proc the weakness policy. Is there a way I could, like... What's... What? Is it Klutz? Uh, beware, right? I want to see if this uh, does what I think it does. What else has Klutz? What's another Pokemon who has the Klutz ability? Do you guys know any Pokemon that have the Klutz ability? Let's take a look at Beware, though. 60, 30. That's fine. Guys, let me know some Pokemon with a Klutz ability. So, so overall, this is our team so far. Uh, note that we have a couple of Telepathy Pokemon. Uh, we have a Flyer. Uh, we have a Digger's Bead that we're going to probably be putting on an Air Balloon. And this is an all-in room team. I was looking at using Fling Salk and a Policy Dragapult with Sneasel. That sounds pretty good. So, so far, this is our default team. We're going to try be using, we're gonna try using a Klutz one of these. Uh, if it gets the move that I'm looking for. Swoobat has Klutz. That's much better. Thank you. Swoobat's actually way better. Klutz. And you put the Choice Scarf here. And... Let me think. Because, like, I want to be able to trick a Choice Scarf onto it, too. But it speed's so low. Maybe that maybe we won't do that. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll use that on a different team. Go work. Yeah, it's a little bit too slow to still be using with the Choice Scarf. Uh, let's use Alcremi. Yeah. Put Alcremi there for now. Uh, this says no Taunt, right? Yep. Perfect. So we'll use those. What Alcremi form do we use? Well, now. Let's just go back to the default Alcremi for now. That was weird. Like glitch showdown out. Alright. Choose Alcremi. Why 31 Ivies and speed? We're not done yet. She's gotta chill. You just gotta chill. Are you planning on showing the team or just building? I'll play some games with it. Alright, so let's take a look at this move set. Uh, I think Rock Slide's super good. I don't actually know if we want Trick Room here because I don't think we need it. We're gonna have two other Trick Room setters. 
at least. I don't. I also don't think I want to keep this EV spread. So let's see. How do I want this to be played? Uh, does it get Shadow Claw? Yep. All right. Um, I think you want the EQ. I think you want the Rock Slide. I say. I think you need these two moves. And I don't know if I want the TR. I mean, I want Protect. I think. I just don't know if I need Rock Slide. I'm going to put the Rock Slide there for now. Over the Trick Room. Alright, and we're going to mess with this Eevee. We're going to do the Eevee Spreads last. How do you feel about the Home Mons coming in March? Oh, that's alright. Alright, so we got Huge Power here. I think you want Protect here as well. And again, we are a big physical attacker. So we might as, just will, we might as well go Earthquake. And then, what's the last Ma move that I want here? Oh, facade? Who gets gunk shot? That's that's nutty. Um, I think Iron Head's actually a pretty decent move. Put Iron Head there. Remember, we'll, like I said, we will get Eevee's last. I could also put like Quick Attack there, but I don't think I necessarily need it. Take a look at Togekiss. Uh, that Eevee spread is not what we want. That item is not what we want. Moves that's not what we want. You want Protect here? A punch move? No, uh, it's actually better to have Iron Head so you can go for like a Dynamax. Uh, it's This is better coverage. This makes like a poor man's Excadrill. All right. Um, don't think you actually need the Air Slash. I think it's actually better with like fire coverage. Do I want Heat Wave or Flamethrower? I think you actually just want... I think you actually need Fire Blast for how which we're going to play this set because it's pretty much just for Ferrothorn coverage. Am I incorrect? We might come back to that. Mashron is a really cool Pokemon. Uh, it gets telepathy, so it avoids damage from your teammates. Let me actually think about that. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this out. Because Tokus was the one Pokemon I wasn't really a fan of. What is that Pokemon? It is Snorlax. The item is a choice band. And the ability, I know we're G-Max because you might as well. Uh, you always want to be G-Max so you just can uh, bluff the illusion of G-Max. I think we're going to use Thick Fat. And we're going to use Self-Destruct. Self-Destruct, Double Edge, uh, Earthquake. And so what's a good move here? No, I'm definitely not playing VGC anymore. Let's see. What I mean by quitting VGC is I'm not going to chase the world's invite anymore. I can still stream it. I can still create content for it, but I'm not going to go out of my way to create content for a game that like I don't plan on doing anything with. I think Iron Head, if it gets it, yeah. Iron Head's actually always like a really good move to tech on here because you can just Dynamax and give yourself the coverage there. We'll work on EVs when we get to it. All right, so the first move you want here is Trick Room. Um... Let's see. I think you want Helping Hand. I think you want... Let's see. It's, it's a hard it's hard decision. Let's see. Uh, I talked about it yesterday. I talked about it yesterday. It's just the TPCI doesn't really care about um, content creators. Yeah, you get the defense booth with Max Ironhead. Yeah, that's why I went for it. Let me see. I want Protect for sure. I'm thinking what I want the last move on this Pokemon to be. Maybe I can trick something. We'll see. I still haven't decided my item yet either. I can come back to that. This Pokemon is going to have... I don't know the item I want on this thing either, but I do know I knew my move set. It's going to be Trick Room. It's going to be Ally Switch. It's going to be Imprison. Not prison. Uh, Lamau. Uh, what is that thing? Instruct. And then I think you want foul play as your last move, but it should probably be protect. Did another thing got encore. We might want to add like a grass knot here as well, just to be able to proc. Or maybe not like a grass knot, but you get the idea. A move that can proc the weakness policy. I'll come back to that in the last move. And I've never really built with one of these. But I think it could be a cool Pokemon. Yo, we want Protect. I think we want Decorate. 
And I like my protects up here, so I'm just gonna put them up here. I'm gonna fix all that. All right. I mean, I'm still gonna literally play VGC every day, guys. It's not gonna change a single thing. But you're just not gonna see me like going out to as many events. Um, I know you want decorate. I think you just want like dazzling gleam, and probably just mystical fire for fire coverage for like Ferrothorn. And then we'll work on Eevees when we get to it. We'll work on items when we get to it. I wonder what this last move should be. I wonder what this last move should be. It should probably just be Protect, and we should run, like, a Mental Herb. I like that a lot. I don't know what this last move should be. That, that set's okay. That set's okay. All right. So we're in a pretty good spot. We now have our six Pokemon. It didn't take us that long to get there. Let's actually go take and throw this into a team builder and see if it actually holds up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at a team builder right here. You can see it right here. Our team, our Pokemon team is Rune Grigus. Our next Pokemon is Diggersby. Diggersby, there we go. Then we have uh, Masharna. Then we have, um, what is that? Then we have Oranguru. Then we have Snorlax. Doesn't really matter the order. And then we have Alcremi. All right, so you can take a look down here. This is the Maryland team builder. This is sometimes what uh, you can use to see if you have like a glaring weakness that you're not really noticing. You can see it glows like dark red, uh, like here when there is actually is it there we go you can see it glows like dark red there when like there's a bad thing and so we have a little bit of weakness to dark which means the item on the masharna is probably going to be a dark reduced berry uh and that will actually like heavily cover up for the fact that we're that weak to dark um let's see and you see we have a lot of resistances we have a lot of new applications to ghosts because we have multiple normal types we also have some weaknesses to go so it's really good um we have a lot of weaknesses to oh sorry a lot of resistances to fighting but note that we also have some weaknesses to fighting so this is actually a really well-made team right from the start so it's super cool that we see that let's go back into the team builder and now that we've looked at the team builder we can realize that we need to put a dark reduced berry now what berry is that would Diggersby use zero speed? Yeah, we you do Eevees last, my guys. You always do your Eevees last. Let's see. Dark. Here we go. Cobra Berry. Perfect. And I still don't know this last move. We'll get to that when we fight it. All right. So, again, I think this is a pretty good move set. I like my Protect on top, so I'm going to put it there. A lot of people like Protect on bottom. I like Protect on top. All right. And again, you work at the Eevees last. I still think this is a decent move set. Been watching videos on YouTube. Finally decided to follow you on Twitch. Great content. Love the competitive battles. Yo, thank you so much. Uh, let's put the, I always like I always like my moves to go like this. I always like my moves to get like incrementally stronger. So you see 80 base, 100 base, 120 base stab, and then a it should still get self-destruct, right? You see they get incrementally stronger? Now what move do I want to put there? Like, what move do we want on Masharna? Do we just put Psychic? No, not Hypnosis. I'm not a big fan. I'm no no fan. Uh, maybe it gets a move that can help us proc our weakness policy. Oh, it gets Ally Switch. That's probably just the play, right? Yeah. Make it like a second Oranguru. Make it like a nerfed Oranguru. Still thinking. Oh, it gets Yawn too. This is actually one of my favorite Pokemon, so that's one of the reasons we're using it. Um, I think I'm just gonna do the Ally Switch. And that seems about right. We'll do the Ivies when we get to it, and the Eevees when we get to it. All right. This guy's pretty much done so And this thing's pretty much done so We don't know our item yet. I'm gonna put an Air Balloon on. Uh, Everyone's on Tigger's B. Uh, all right, what do we wanna put here then? Yeah, it's, it's important. This item's this item's like actually really important. So let's see. Let's look at some items. Let's see. Based off this move set, I 
Probably just a citrus berry is fine. Uh, but the thing about a citrus berry is, like, if they're hitting the Alcremi, that's actually good for me. We don't really need this Pokemon on the board. I think I'm going to go Steel Reduce Berry. Just because... Uh, just because so we can live that one turn, right? Steel Reduce Berry is not... Yeah, see, it's almost like we played the game. It's almost like we played the game. Great minds think alike. Here we go. So let's see. We have all of our Pokemon with all of our moves and all of our items. The next thing you want to do is start looking at your Eevees and your Natures. And that's why we do this afters, because then we can start looking at Calcs as well. So the first thing you want to do is go to this Pokemon. Now, this Pokemon has a super easy EV spread. We're actually going to go Speed Reduce Nature. We're going to be as slow as humanly possible. And I actually think that this is fine, because I want to be as strong as humanly possible. And I want to be as bulky as possible. You can see we have a 58 base HP. Big Special D, which is one of the reasons we're using a Grass Pokemon. Uh, grass Attack Special Attack to proc this. So we want to be as bulky as possible in both of our uh, defensive stats. And... Uh, I think this is fine. Normally, I'm not an advocate of 2v2 52 spreads, but we're going to sit on this for now and hopefully we'll come back to it. No damage move on Masharna may cost under some conditions because there's a lot of Focus Sash users. Uh, no, that's, I guess, but like, I, that's, I would ally switch if I expected the Focus Sash, right? That's how that works. Like, Masharna being able to, I, I, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. All right, fine. You're not wrong. Let's actually throw a Gleam. Oh, let's throw an Energy Ball there. That can Energy Ball the Ringrigus if we want. Uh, or we could do it the other way around. And Masharna actually... You see how much, you see why Masharna is even in the team? 29, 30. Busted. All right, so we're going to sit on this EV spread for now. Uh, Diggersby, though, popping it off, literally. Uh, I think the EV spread we actually want to go with Diggersby is, again, super simple. We're, we're just doing super simple stuff today. We can look at Calx. These are the uh, first iterations of what we want here. Ringus is level 100? No, it, do it doesn't matter. Like, we'll set it to level 100. There we go. Doesn't matter. Perfect. Yeah, we'll, we'll do all that. We'll do all that calc stuff later. We'll work at EV spreads a little bit later. All right, so you want to go adamant here. And again, these are super, super simple spreads. And since this team is made for Trick Room, note that you want to go zero in special attacks. We're going to be using that special attack. Up next is Snox again. It's like Pokemon knows what I want to do. These are very simple spreads here, guys. Everyone can do these. We just want to be as strong and as just absolutely massive as possible. We don't have any Intimidators. Now let's think of what Masharna is going to be fighting against, right? We don't have any Intimidators, so they can actually just leave with those big physical mons and run us over. We have a Dark Reduced Berry, but like what uses Dark Attacks? Tyranitar? What stabs Dark Attacks? Tyranitar Bisharp? What else uses the Dark Attacks? Like Max Darkness from Duraludon? That's pretty much it. There might be, like, every once in a while, you might find a couple, like, ghost special attackers. I actually think you want to go heavy special D, because let's think of our weaknesses. Our weaknesses are to uh, dark, bug, and ghost. Those are predominantly special attacks, Other otherwise kind of like the Bisharp and, like, the knockoff from a Conkolder. So I actually think, again, it's like the game knows what I want. It's like the game knows what I want. Grimmsnarl? Grimmsnarls don't usually carry the dark attack. Knockoff Rillaboom? It doesn't stab it, so it's not that big a deal. And again, we would still get our damage reduction berry, and I don't even think he'd get the knockoff calc. It'd only be a, a 65 base. So we're just gonna sit there. But we do want to make it so we underspeed. So note that we have a 30 base versus a 31. It's super important there, so we can still proc our weakness policy. And again, Orange Guru right here. Now let's see, how do I think I should be playing this Pokemon? Because, like, right now I have it set like this, but, like, there's a couple other things I could do. I could also rock, like, a scarf and just go, like, set the thing and then just come in with Orange Guru and just, like, That's right. yo. Starlight Genesis, thank you for the follow. All right, Eevee spreads. Uh, Orange is a little bit different. It, its weaknesses are dark and bug. So, it actually, has less weaknesses. But let's see. How do I want to deal with this? What are some common Dynamax turn one mons? I'm not really afraid of Dragapult. I'm more afraid of Excadrill with this Pokemon. So I want to go heavy defense. So I want to go uh, 2v2 because it's uh, anytime it's under 100, you usually want to go 2v2 first. Again, our defense is lower than Special D. So you'd, you'd be getting more bang for your buck going Special D, but like I said, I'm afraid of Excadrill. So I'm looking at a 180 here. And I just want to make sure. Yep. 180. We're going to sit on that for now. We're going to put the last 76 in here. 
And so this makes it so we're just a little bit bulkier. You see how we just heavily increased our defense? Um, I can also probably get away with taking out this Mental Herb and putting a Citrus Berry so we uh, make it so we don't get nuked. Remember, we don't really need the Citrus Berry as much because we have an Alcremie. So what I can be doing here is I can go like Orin Guru. Um, wait, you'll see. You'll see how I want to do it. I don't need the... Uh, I don't need the Mental Herb. All right, perfect. Durant with Bug Attack. Durant is a problem, but we, we would just die, so... Choice Band Knockoff Drapion. I think you're the only one. You are the only one. All right, and the last Mon. I, like I said, I've never built one of these before, but I would build this Pokemon probably a little bit different. Because, like, I'm actually really worried about Ferrothorn when fighting this team. So worried, in fact, that I probably am going to switch this up and go for a life... Uh, sorry, an Expert Belt set. And we are going to run some Ferrothorn Calcs. So let's go look some Calcs. That's this page here. All right, so we're going to go look at some Calcs here. I want to see how much damage Alcremie can do with full investment, or if I even need full investment, um, to a Ferrothorn. Right, and I want to see if we can get expert belts. Ah, and we're using mystical fire against. And we gotta make these level fifty. So this is stuff you guys should all be doing when you're building teams. I think of a Pokemon that I want to check, and this is how I check it. All right, so you can see if we scroll up here. The Alcremie can one-shot a Ferrothorn that has zero investment. If I have full investment, full EVs, full everything, Expert Belt, the works, I can one-shot it. If he goes full HP, though, I can still one-shot it. Do you see how that's still important? And you're like, well, yeah, duh. But, like, it's a pretty close calc. Like, if they start putting any points in specialty, we're in a bad spot. You see, but we that means we need the expert belt to do it. So I'm actually totally going to do that, and that's totally fine with me. So yeah, this is uh, this is fine. So I want my Alcremie to be a lot more aggressive. Uh, I'm also going to run some other calcs in a sec on Dragapult. Cause just because I want to know how much damage we can deal to a Dragapult. So we put Dragapult here. And we're going to put Dazzling Gleam. And we're gonna make sure we click the doubles button. And go level 50. So how much damage do we deal Dragapult? We actually have a chance to uh, Oko Dragapult, even in double spread damage. So that means that's guaranteed uh, Oko uh, if we decide to Dynamax. And our team doesn't really have a Dynamax, so that's actually pretty good. Um, we could also see if he puts in full HP. You can see that we'd still like Oko uh, if we decided to use like a Max Starfall. So pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I think Max Starfall is actually super good on this team because it makes it so they can't go for... Uh, what is that? It's pretty much like a safeguard. Yeah, so I'm totally fine with this EV spread here. It's a 2v2 spread, but again, uh, it lets us get exactly what we want off, and we're a lot more aggressive than you would normally be. So you can see our team is starting to get rounded out. Lots of 2v2 spreads, but uh, we have our win conditions. We have our good typing, and I actually really like the energy ball. The last calc that we want to run here is for energy ball calcs. Uh, so let's go into... This, because I actually want to know how much damage we do to our own Rune Rune Regus, uh, Masharna, and you need to know these things, guys. All right, Energy Ball, and the reason we're using Energy Ball is because we also want Gastron coverage. So let's just see. We have, it, I think it put the four there. But I'll take it out. Uh, Rune Rune Regus. How do I pronounce this Pokemon's name? Titar is a big threat to this team. Titar could be a threat. Why do you think we have a Dark Reduce Berry? Why do you think we have a Dark Reduce Berry? All right, so I don't think that that's correct. Am I incorrect? Like, it seems a little bit strong. It seems a little bit strong, doesn't it? Is there something I'm not looking at? I mean, Mishan is like the best Pokemon in the game. But let's see. It's a little bit too strong. I dislike that. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, let's take the energy ball off. Does it get, like... Is there a physical move this thing gets that I can use to proc? Bro, you're all about to make me really use freaking hypnosis, aren't you? Probably need to go max for that to play then. No, I don't want to KO it. Why do you have to be so strong, Masharna? Actually, let's just see how much damage we're doing to Grass Drum while we're here then. I'm just curious. Holy crap. So if like if I take that nature off. It's like a freaking one shot on the like Astrid on most. Yo, Masharna's like the best Pokemon in the game. Alright. Masharna gets Rock Slide. It does. I think the last move. We might just have to make that hypnosis. I'm fine with making that hypnosis. I'm totally fine with this. Yeah, that's, right. that's right, yo. That's right. And that's why we run calcs, guys. That's why we do it. That's why we run calcs. All right. So I think the team's going to be good. We're going to try and see if it's validated. Survey says my team is valid for VGC 2020. What we're going to do is we're going to hop into some games. And we're going to try and win some. Yeah, that's actually a cool team. I, really, I actually really like that team. Let's see if we can make it work. I think this team probably does need a grass type so you can like switch out the Runarigas for like all the water attacks. It's like we're getting water attacked like every single time and we're a little bit too slow. But I'm still gonna try it. I just wanna do it one time. Hmm. Bisharp is a little bit of a problem. Bisharp is a little bit of a problem. We can't do that much against Bisharp, period. We have the Dark Reduce Berry on the Masharna, so we're gonna have the Masharna. Alright. Snorlax and Oranguru. It's time! Snorlax is base 31. Snorlax is actually the speed tying us, but he's gonna set up and we're just gonna one shot him. You guys ready? I'm gonna get. Here we go! We're gonna do it! We're gonna do it. Weakness policy. Look at that attack stat. Huge power. Taking it. Yo, you're popping the curse. Yo, I'm about to show you what I'm working with right now. EQ, baby. Let's go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that attack stat. We finally did it. Yo, and they scooped. Yo, fine. Yes, we did it. Finally, the combo worked. You Grass Knot, your own Runarigas, you activate your own weakness policy. Uh, Runarigas takes the huge power and doubles its attack stat with the weakness policy. And you go to 644 attack. And you don't even kill your Digger Speed because you have an air balloon. Yes. Finally. It's about damn time. That's good. Let's see. Durant. Okay. That's a cool looking team, isn't it? And so many ghosts running around. Probably should have put like Crunch on this Lax. I mean, it has EQ. I want Alcremi, but it has it has the wrong, it has like the expert belt Lamau. I could one shot the Duran if I can get a hold of it, but I can't get a hold of it probably. Which one of these is better? It says Citrus. I don't think it's gonna be as important. I think you bring Lax, and then it's one of these two. I'm probably gonna bring this one because it doesn't have the ghost weakness. Yeah, they have the short and shield sprites. Uh, I think I have a stylish app downloader that shows me what they are. But we're waiting on them. This guy's a very good team. I love the double prankster. I love the defiant. Yeah, I have an app that does it, like a stylish app. All right, is the combo gonna work? Weed fallings, fallings, fallings. Oh, OMG. OMG, got that big EQ, EQ baby. I dare you to click follow me, no retreat. I dare you to click it. I dare, I triple dog dare you to click follow me, no retreat. Right? Like, of course they're gonna click it, right? That's their team. I really do like the Psychic Seeds uh, following, that is super cool. I think it's actually a really cool, like, lead combo. Like, this lead is like, I'd much rather play this than, like, Halucha, personally. Just because Phalanx is like a super cool Pokemon too with Defiant. Like, OMG, so good. Follow me. No retreat. Yo. You're not trapped in here. I'm not trapped here with you. You're trapped in here with me. Oh, wait. The, yo, wait, the follow me stopped my combo. Uh-oh. We've made a mistake. Abort mission.
All right, abort mission. We're gonna have to max quake that and protect here. Yeah, I know you're Dynamax and Chief, it's okay. All right, he's gonna hit here, right? Yep, it's gonna pop our balloon, but we're not gonna die. So that's good. I need to get the Indity off the board. Reflect, OMG, that Indity is so good. Are you with Sasha's up right now? Wow, he was at, he was at one HP. Holy crap, all right. Hmm. Yeah, still have to do that. There's not really a move that's worth using here. It's actually still a better idea to do like... It would force that. Yeah, if he didn't go for that, if he went for like a different attack into this, didn't get the KO. Light screen too, wow. Gotta try it. That thing is so bulky. Yo, let's pop off. <laughs> no, leave me alone! Ah, we lost that one. That guy was a cool that guy had a cool team. I forgot to follow me fo like redirects my grass knot. I completely messed up that. That was hilarious. Alright. Dragable Toxapex. Dragable Toxapex, Salazzle, Chandler, Gengar, Como. Wow, that is so many ghosts. Got enough ghosts over there, Chief? Yo, how's it going? We're gonna go with these two because I want to make this combo work. I'm gonna bring Snorlax in the back. Just Earthquake everything into the ground. And then I think you Alcreme here. Nah, there's too many poisons. Way too many poisons. Probably just the Oranguru. Yep. Let's go. Let's rock and roll. Alright. Let's go. Tox, Pex? Chandler. <gasps> It might work. EQ. Why is Peck so fast? All right, let's go. So I'm for reviewing. Ah, uh, it's long AF. All right, let's go. Oh man. Come on, show me, show me the damage. Show me like toxic. I'd love to see a Toxic. And like, I'd love it if you Trick Roomed. Heat Wave, ow! Grass Knot, OMG! Yo, weakness policy? Yo, huge power? Toxic? Yo, never heard of it, Chief. Get that out of here. <laughs> yes. That's so good. Gengar? Gengar's a pretty good Pokemon last time I checked. Oh, Como? That's a pretty good Pokemon last time I checked. And now, we're gonna strike the finishing blow. Are you ready to finishing blow this person? Actually, hold on. I should probably just protect and set Trick Room. Yeah. But if he Dynamaxes and hits that, I'll die. No, no, I'm okay with this choice. What does Pex eat and Galar if the Corsal are dead? I mean, it ate all of them. That's why they're dead. Funny gimmick? Yes. Funny gimmick. It only works once. It only needs to work once. Alright. Show me that. Hex? Lamau! Playing skills? No! AoE! Never lucky! It's okay. It's okay. Do I really want to Dynamax it, though? 12 out G-Max or Punishes. I can't I don't even have a berry. Alright, uh... I think we Trick Room, and I think we EQ. I think I could probably... Let me actually think about this. Huh. Do I want to Trick Room, or do I want to Ally Switch again? I think I'm gonna ally switch one more time and just pop the double edge. Cause we can just KO it. And then we're gonna Dynamax our lax. Yeah, he's gonna Dynamax that guy. Which means this was right right play, I think. Oh, he read my ally switch! Yo, the reeds. 
We lost. Oh, well. That was fun. All right. I like this guy's team. Kind of similar playstyle, but we both have Alcremi. There's a Dracovish, though. How do I deal with Dracovish? Heck, how does this team deal with Dracovish? Maybe he just won't lead with Dracovish. Wouldn't that be swell? Actually, I think I can probably go, like, Snorlax. I like the layout. It's a cool layout. I think I'm going to lead Snorlax. Um, and then you want to lead with something that can, like... Yeah, I want to try those two. And I should probably bring the Alcremi just because... Uh, yeah, I think I'm bring, I don't think I'm gonna trick him in this game. No trick room in this game. Let's try and see if this works. Show me Dracovish! No Dracovish, huh? The one time I don't go for the combo, you don't Dracovish me. I see how it is. I see how it is. I'm about, I'm about to just one-shot these guys, though. <laughs> Destroyed! Wax is faster too, right? Yeah, let's go. Dazzling Gleam? Well, now. Scald? Well, now. Weakness policy sub. Weakness policies up, Chief. Big boom. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. That works. That works for me. Got to extend out, Krimi, because you have the other Dracovish. Yep, there's the Dracovish. All right. Perfect. Big boom, Snorlax, yo. Big Alcremi. Vicious Rend. No way, Chief. Ironhead, no way, Chief. Max Starfall, get out of here with that. And we did it. Alcremi was the right play. Weakness policies up too. Big Dynamax. OMG. This is going to do a lot still. Yeah. And then this is still also going to do a lot. He has defense boost, but like, it's not going to have them forever. He has lefties. Oh, he's just going to scoop? I'll take it. Yo, we win. Finally. We got some actual wins with this team. You can't always go for the main combo. But it's still a lot of fun.